Hello everyone, Executo here. Please enjoy this video, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram and Facebook. Get aesthetic, brah. Hey guys, Executo here on a how-to video on how to make your biases bigger, how to work them, how to make them more aesthetic, full, and ready to go. Today guys, I'm going to show you three basic exercises to hit three parts of your bicep. First part of the bicep is the inner head. This part, people do hit mostly due to the other two parts I'm going to show you guys. This is the easiest head to grow and probably one of the most important to get size in your bicep. Not necessarily definition, but size. So what you're going to be doing guys is regular curls. A lot of people do this with dumbbells, barbells, all those free weighted exercises. But what I'm going to be doing today for you guys is show you how to do it with cables. The reason why I'm doing it with cables is to show you form. This is not the only way you could do it. This is mainly for pump, just to show you guys how to do it and how it hits that muscle group. So you're going to start normally how you would with a barbell, dumbbell, anything. You just go straight up and down. So this is normal. This is good. This is going to hit the inner and outer bicep, but you want to focus on the inner bicep. So I'm going to do something differently. I'm going to ask you guys what it is. Go straight up, quickly, slowly down. Straight up, quickly, slowly down. So what did I do there different, guys? What I did, guys, is I turned my pinky towards the ceiling, allowing for full bicep contraction, allowing it to grow, allowing the peak to stand out. And what the peak is, it allows it to be a bigger arm, allows it to stand out, look fuller. So I'll show you guys again, and I'll show you guys from the side and front view. So I'm gonna go straight up, Squeeze at the top, slowly down. Squeeze at the top, slowly down. So I turn to my side now. Squeeze at the top, slowly down. Squeeze at the top, slowly down. Now I'm gonna show you guys regularly how it would look like and why it makes that bicep part stand out. So I'm gonna put my arms straight out and look, I'm gonna do a regular curl just like that. Now look when I put my pinky towards the ceiling. See it pop out more there? It makes the bicep stand out. I get that peak that a lot of people are looking for. It's one of the hardest things to get your biceps to peak out, but one of the easiest to get size. So once you do that movement for so many years, it's gonna make it peak out and stand out. You don't have to do it for so many years, but I mean months you'll see definition and size in your biceps. Now we're gonna be hitting this part of the bicep. It's more the outer part. It's not necessarily the third part I'm gonna show you guys just yet. But this is the outer bicep. There's two parts of the bicep that people mainly talk about. It's the inner, which you cut in half, inner, and the outer. So this is gonna be the outer now that I'm gonna talk about. And I'm gonna show you guys an exercise that's gonna mainly hit that part of the bicep. So mainly, my wrist is like this when you do biceps. So you're gonna turn your wrist nine degrees to the top, and you're gonna have your thumb up. Nah, you're doing a thumbs up, but you know what I mean? You're gonna have your thumb up towards the ceiling, and you're doing hammer curls. That are what they, that are, that is what the exercise is called. There's many different ways you can hit that outer bicep, but this is just one way I'm going to show you guys today. There are many different ways you can do this exercise. They are called hammer curls. You could do them with dumbbells, barbells. There are many different ways. I'm going to show you guys with cables once again. So you're going to go straight up, chest out, elbows relax, shoulders relax. Go straight up and down, quickly up, slowly down. Quickly up, slowly down. It's like the other one, just changing the wrist rotation. First up, slowly down. First up, slowly down. Now from the side. First up, slowly down. First up, slowly down. Now that's just one exercise to hit that part of the muscle. Obviously, there's different ways. You can also do this. This is another way. There's many, many different ways, many different types of weights you can use. Machines, free weights, anything. There's lots and lots out there, guys. These are just the basics, and now I'm going to show you the third part you must hit to make your biceps look fuller. So I showed you guys this part of the bicep, I showed you guys the outside of the bicep, now I'm going to show you this part of the bicep. People don't know about that very much. It connects to the forearm, which allows the bicep peak right here. If you watch Arnold in his bodybuilding days, he had this part of the bicep, which allowed his arms to be so big and allowed him to win a lot of competitions that a lot of people don't know about. So I'm going to show you guys how to hit that part and how to make that part of the bicep look big. All right guys, so my wrist started like this. It went 90 degrees like this. Now it's gonna go another 90 degrees all the way to here. So from here, 110 
180 degrees to this side and what it's gonna do is allow it to hit that part of the bicep to make it stand out more and the reason why you turn your wrist is because it hits the bicep in different motions so this is just one way I'm gonna show you guys and there are many many different ways as I said before okay guys I'm gonna start like this put my wrist towards me and towards the inner side 180 degrees from what it was before chest out shoulders relaxed this may make your elbow move a bit but it's normal try to do it to your comfortability as long as you feel the exercise so I'm gonna do one rep right now on the top squeeze slowly down and I'll show you guys once again up squeeze slowly go down so you're gonna keep your wrist straight the whole time you don't want it wobbling all over the place you want it straight go all the way up and go down show you guys again straight up slowly down straight up slowly down now from the side straight up slowly down straight up slowly down now guys those are just three basic ways you can hit three parts of your bicep there's tons and tons of ways you can hit your bicep there are just three probably at least more than 30 or 40 different ways you can hit this part 43 different ways you can hit this part there's tons and tons guys do your research this is just a basic video for beginners out there they're gonna help you make your biceps grow those exercises I still use today those are basic exercises that you could develop you could go heavier in weight constantly go up and up and up you can see your biceps grow within months, weeks even, depending on how hard you grow, right? You don't want to be hitting your biceps every single day, but you want to hit it at least three times, three times a week? No, twice a week maybe. And it's going to allow your biceps to grow, make them look fuller, nicer, aesthetic, all that good stuff. This is just a basic video for you guys, your beginners out there. This is also a little bit advanced to an extent, but I will do another video for those advanced people. But this is just the beginners for the beginning bodybuilders. If you guys enjoyed that how-to video on how to make your biceps bigger, fuller, aesthetic, all that good stuff, please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, share this video, all that good stuff, and get aesthetic, bro.